All right, how you guys doing? Another video, MPC 2500. Okay, this time I wanna talk about saving projects. Okay, this is something that took me a while to figure out as far as how do I save a project where I can load it up no matter what? And then how can I do that to where it's not taking up too much space on the hard drive? But the bottom line is this, you load up Say so we go to load, and you load up a program. If you have a folder, I have a folder called programs. Okay, and then I have them in categories, bass, drums, guitar, and keyboards. Okay, so let's say I load up a bass program, whatever, whatever it is, bright bass, fine, do it. And then I want to load up a drum program. Okay, I have kits and I have sounds. So let's go to a kit. And let's say uh, 60s funk kit is fine. Let's do that. Go ahead and do that. So it's going to load that up. Okay, so here's this is one way to do this. Okay, one way is to load up, to, to start up the system, start up the MPC where it doesn't auto load anything. That's the deal. You just start up clean and then you search through your files and you load up whatever inspires you in the moment. So let's say I do this cool beat and I'm all stoked and I'm using these two programs. One's called Bright, one's called 60s Funk Kid, all right? Okay, and we're playing it and it's like, oh, this is great, I wanna save it. Okay, so you go to save. Okay, so there's basically a how and a where. So save a sample save a program, save all programs, save a sequence, save all sequences, save line patterns, okay, I'm, I don't know what that is, I haven't gotten into that one yet, okay, save a pattern bank, pad mode assign, system setups, Entire memory one, okay, now this is what I discovered. Entire memory one and entire memory two. Okay, one says all programs, all samples, all sequence songs pack. Uh, name all sequence songs. Let's see here. So, and you can rename it from there. Okay, so that's the first entire memory. The second entire memory is all programs, and you get the pattern bank and the pad mode thrown in there too. Okay, that's the difference. See that? Okay, I usually go for memory one, entire memory one. And what that does is it saves everything that way and puts it into whatever folder you want. Okay, I usually go to projects. And then I make a new folder and I name it and I dump it in there. So that's basically how I do it. But the entire memory one is cool because it does everything. So, you, so basically, if you're doing it this way, where you every time you boot up clean, meaning with no uh, samples loading, and you just load whatever you feel like in the moment, you go and save it. Entire memory is going to save everything. Now, the problem potentially is if you load up big programs and you save the whole program every time. So what I found is sometimes you can get away with cleaning out, let's say you have a, a program with a bunch of samples because you have 64 possibilities and if they're long samples or, or something, you can go in and you can delete uh, sample by sample the, uh, and clean it up before you save it so you're not saving all those samples you're actually not using. You can do that. But I have, um, as a, my, one of my past videos shows, I installed a um, what's called the hard disk, but it's really just a, a micro SD card and with an adapter. And so I have in there 58 uh, gigabytes of memory uh, available. I think it's a 64 in total. So I've got plenty of room. I, I'm not really worried about room a saving to the hard disk. If I go to the memory card, that's a little less. That's four gigabytes. So I don't have much on there. I have the auto load potential if I want to go there. You know, I, this is kind of like my auto load folder that I'll that I'll put in there and just if I want to do the auto load thing. 
So basically, that's that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to make an auto load folder, and you go to auto load a load, and you tell it to go which device. Okay, in this case, it would be the memory card folder auto load because I've done it before. It's already there. You can even have another folder going if you want, but it has to be all on the memory card or whatever device you you give it. So when you turn it on, it's going to load whatever's in this folder, and then you're going to have your base samples, right? This is going to be your samples that you that you use all the time. Then you can go ahead and um, go to save, and then instead of in saving the entire memory, you can just save. Um, what I like to do is all sequences. This guy, all sequences and songs, because your samples are going to be the same every time if you load up that base auto load uh, sample uh, you know those those programs so then you just go ahead and save your sequences but what I found is in the past is I did that I have a bunch of tunes that just have the all sequences in them but I've changed my auto load folder contents without realizing I'd be screwing myself out of the these tunes and so you gotta watch it you have to make sure that that if you're gonna save these that in a year or something you're not coming back and and wishing that you save the whole contents instead of just the sequence. So that's that's kind of the only thing. It's best really to do this one, entire memory one. Just dump everything in a folder, give it a name, and you're done. It's never going to go out of a, a date because it's got all the data and all the samples, program sequences, and everything. So that would be my um, solution to you know saving your your tunes. Is, is do the entire memory one. And if you're using the pattern banks and, and pad mode stuff, which I don't know a lot about yet, um, do memory two, entire memory number two. All right, man, that's that. Thanks.